Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. It's Monday. Oh my gosh, Monday is by far my favorite video to make. It surprises me every single week how many things I have touched. And I'm not even counting my beautiful purple sweater that I touched but didn't actually put any rose on. I'm not counting that one. I should though, right? I mean, it, I did play with it and I contemplated on it and I had it in my hands and I, I thought about it and it counts. It it, 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 it counts, but I'm not going to show it again, but it, it totally counts. I just didn't work on it. That's all. Yeah. I thought about it. Yeah. I got some things finished. I did. I did. I did. How exciting. Oh my gosh. I didn't want to see. Want to see? Is that why you're here? Yeah. That's why I'm here. It, like I said, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got something off of my plate. I was dreading. I'm not going to lie. I was just putting it off. I did not want to do this thing at all. It's nothing against it. The pattern is fine. It is beautiful. It is in this gorgeous book, Zumagurumi's Favorites. And as far as books and, and, Zuma, and, and Amagurumi's, there's a whole series of these. And when they say this is the favorites, they're not joking. I mean, this one has a lot of things that I would like to make. And when I first got the book, I got so excited. Look at this. I got this angler fish. Oh my gosh. And I even got those colors and immediately started it. Oh yes, I did. I immediately started. I was all kinds of excited. And then I had to finish that little top notch thingy. And then the two side fins. That's how far I got. I don't remember what date I got the book. I have videos on it. I could go back and look, but it's not that important. And I just let it stall. I just, whatever. I, I had so many other things. Finally had to get it done. My sister is expecting this um, for my, um, I don't want to see it, like a great nephew. Yeah. I always forget when they get down to my, my, um, my cousin's son. That one. Yeah. So you figure out the whole, yeah. But she's giving it to him and she has a fish book and she has all these other things and they're celebrating their stuff. Uh, like the second week in January, I think everyone's getting together, you know, a little bit easier. And I had to get it done. She's like, you have to get it done. Look at this. Look. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I am so happy. She's going to love it. He's going to love it. I, I'm thrilled with it. I really am. I put pipe cleaners in here and I should have put more because it's it does it does hold up but it's a little too floppy right and I should have put in a little bit more I didn't it's sewn down and I do a pretty good job of sewing if you want to see how it's sewn I have a short I, I did like time lapse speed time lapse of sewing this thing together I know crazy huh so totally thrilled I did it oh my gosh you have no idea how happy I am to get this off my plate. It is beautiful. It is stunning. I think I'm done with socks and amigurumi right now. I just, I just am. I just, I don't want to play, you know, it's, this is in kind of, if somebody told me that I had to go find the pattern and make the body for the Layla, the love bug, you can still get the pattern. I started her at least a decade ago, but you can still get the pattern on Ravelry. K4TT is the designer fiber doodles. There you go. I'm not affiliated. It's gorgeous. Has a body. I never made the body, but it does come with body. You could do it. I'm not doing it. I think she looks great as a head. She's been a head for a decade. So that is one project. Woo! Yes. I got something else finished. You want to see? Want to see? Want to see? I will show you. Look at this. I got a blanket done. Oh! I used some of the yarn that I just recently got at my last two Joann's trips because I needed more yarn. Yeah, I did. I did need more to finish this. I did. Yeah. I wanted the specific colors and I like the geode effect that I've got on this. And I did the 40 inch square or no, this isn't the square. This is the, I don't know what the skate shape is. It has to be between 30 and 40 inches wide and 40 and 50 inches long. So if you're doing a square, like my last one, 40 inch square is your sweet spot. I wanted to do the uh, rectangle because I wanted to encompass more of that yard, you know, the size that we can do. These are going to be shipped to Nancy. She's got yarn too. Um, they just did an unboxing. Oh my goodness. They did that on Thursday and they had 
over 100 blankets sent to them. They're like 130-ish, something like that, away from doubling what they were able to give last year in collecting in because the Yarny community came out and we are that fantastic. So I have currently, this is my third one, and I have right off camera right over here, a box already ready with the other two that I have finished and I will be sending those out. So I'm excited about that. While I was watching the video, you know, like we do, um, I was crafting. So I picked up more of my Joanne's Big Twist in the super bright colors because I love my super bright 80s colors. That's just how that goes. And I started another blanket. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look. I have the Varsity Yellow in the center, hot pink going around, and then that slime green after that. This is adapted. I'll link below the pattern, but it's an adapted from a shawl pattern. Uh, daisy chain, I think, something like that. I can't remember offhand, but it is a beautiful shawl pattern. And what I didn't take into account is the shawl has a very drastic V, you know, just, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It is gorgeous. I'm going to have to make it. Actually, I started already. <laughs> <laughs> as a shawl but I didn't take into account the the shape is not a natural triangle so when I made the four corners on this um, when I started it I was getting more stitches I didn't start that way but I you know through the pink area I added more stitches and everything and once I realized it I course corrected on that green I think this is fantastic I'm going to go into the green next because that yellow and that um, green I did not know that they were Look at that. So close in color. So I'm not going to do that. I didn't realize that until Lori from Armchair Chef had mentioned it because she's doing her temperature blanket. She's doing a snake instead of a blanket. And she'd commented on getting a different green. She was doing really bright colors because the yellow and green were so close together. And I didn't think so before she said it, but she's not wrong. Um, so I'm going to go ahead in the next round. I'm going to add more pink to it because I don't think purple. I've got the, the really bright purple that comes in the Big Twist too. And I've also got the blue. But I don't think those would necessarily, you know, as my next choice, go with for that. But that's okay. I like this, the way that that pattern goes with it, you know, that shape and everything there. I think it is fun. I asked my husband, hey, sweetie, what do you think of this blanket? He don't like it. He, 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 he doesn't like it. Nope. <laughs> he says he doesn't like the colors. The colors is the thing that turns him off the most. He says it's too bright, doesn't work. Uh uh. So I might go ahead afterwards, um, once I put more pink on it and everything, and tone it down, add some black to it, kind of a lattice work or something over top of it, you know, an after fact, kind of like a chaining, you know, all the way through. I might do that if I'm ambitious. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. I mean I did it. I did it with um the uh, other other blanket that I made that will be sent off and everything, it had a like a lattice work that was crocheted on top of it. And it really, really looks nice. And look at this. So I was thinking, you see, there's two rows of double crochet right here, right? So I can do that chain in between, you know, and it'll do the, the shape like that all the way around. And that will look really, really pretty. And I think that would just be enough, just doing it just around the green like that and adding just a, a black all the way around and the chain stitch. Oh my gosh, I think that would make it pop and it would be gorgeous and stunning and fun. So I might have to actually do that now that I'm, you know, I've talked about it and I'm, yeah, I'm seeing it again. I might have to do that. That's, that's a good idea. It'll look really nice. And you know what? I'm giving it away for a good cause. And I want it to be the best that it can be. So as much as I grouse, kind of like making this, as much as I grouse, I will get it done. And it will look nice. And it will get loved. And isn't that what it's all about? I mean, when you're giving something, don't you give the best? You know, just like... um the best in spirit, the best in heart, the best, you know, the best that you can, right? Um, do it with a loving heart. So I will go ahead and do that. Yeah. And then put it in its box. So that will be just wonderful. I also got, uh, oh, but you know, I might as well show the shawl, right? I might as well show it. So I started it as a shawl. I am using, as I drop my ball of yarn, because you know, why not? Oh, I spent 
for like an hour or so because I, you know, day off, right? You know, it's like, yay, New Year. Um, I spent at least an hour. Okay, it was more than that, whatever. Uh, in my yarn room, trying to clean it and, and do things to make it a little better. Because I was getting to where I just had, you know, like a hoarder's path, right? You know, like, you know, when you get too much stuff and it's piled on both sides and everything, you got like just a little trail to walk and that's it. And then things are going to want to fall on top of you and you're like this, but it's okay. It's all soft. It's fine. Um, yeah, I was kind of getting that. Yeah, it, it was. So um, I didn't get rid of anything. Although I do have a box of limited edition from Lion Brand that I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm I'm ready to part with just saying I'm ready to part with that one uh but I packed some things in some boxes they were already in boxes on my floor and the boxes were uh you know open in, and then other boxes on top of them so they were kind of cattywampus and they were getting ready to fall so I packed things a little bit tighter and I did that and my space to come in is a little bit nicer it's just better and I made some stitch markers squirrel I made some stitch markers because I was cleaning and then my jump rings were there and all these pretty charms. So I put jump rings on pretty charms. Yeah. Stitch markers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not professional. Just they're cute. Sidetracked. Yeah. So look at this. Red Heart. It's a wrap. This stuff was uh, clearance stout. I don't know if they still have it or not. I really don't know. You know, I think I think you still get on Hirschner's and things like that. I think you can still get this type of stuff. Not positive uh i don't know oh, the color on this is co couture couture uh, i don't know how to say it couture there you go this is um one ball it says use eight size eight us eight five millimeter for knitting what does it say for crochet because i'm crocheting this thing it's uh 623 yards uh, 150 grams. It is 55% acrylic, 45% cotton. So this is one of those yarns. You've probably seen them on like Hobby and Hobium and things like that, right? And they have the yarn and you look at it and it's got these multiple, oh, I'm trying to split it apart. Oh my gosh. See the multiple strands? So you got the four strands, right? And it changes the color when it gets to this color place, there's a little knot. Yes, there's a knot. Don't cut it. Don't do anything. Leave it alone and just crochet or knit it in. But that little knot changes the color of one strand. And then later on, it'll go and it'll change the color of the next strand. And that's how it goes to that gradient. So it's kind of a fun way. Um, some people will talk about to, if you're not used to that and everything, put a bead on it and let the bead, you know, keep your threads together. I personally haven't had an issue with it, but now that I've said that, I might, but too late now. So, oh, and I also have two of these in the same color, which comes in handy. Um, and the reason being is the pattern that I picked says it takes about 1,200 yards, or at least that's the one that they made was 1,200 yards. Well, I've got a little over 1,200 with the two balls. So I'm starting with the center from both of them. And when I get to that little knot, I'm cutting the one yarn. Yes, I'm going to have ends to weave in. That's fine. But what I'm wanting is because I'm doing it with both balls, I want it to look just like this. I don't want to get halfway and then have that stripe on the outside, you know, where it goes here all the way out to the black and then back, starts back up there. That's I didn't want it like that. So I'm doing it that way. That's just my way of doing it. You can do it however you want to. And look at this. Isn't that stunning? And you can see why I wanted to turn this into a blanket, right? Because I love the way that it's just the, the yarn moves. I like this undulating pattern right here. I think that the right here, the, these are puff stitches, not bobbles. I think the puff stitches are great. And look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't that just stunning? Look, that is a gorgeous crocheted bib shawl right now, but it's going to be a lot bigger and it's just going to radiate out. And I'm really excited about doing this too, because I was just recently talking about how, why is it when we think of knitted big circles or big pieces it's automatically oh that's a shawl that's a stole that's a you know that type of a thing when you a big piece of knitted lace but when you look at big pieces of knitted or crocheted lace but circle rectangle oblong oh it's a table runner it's tablecloth no it's not look no it's not that is stunning and it is so lacy and it's beautiful and look at that 
So if you wanted to do something that is um, a lot smaller, you could definitely go this route, you know, a little bit more and just tie it in the back. And then you've got the little bib with an extra amount of lace, just that little touch of glamour into your project. Use whatever yarn you want. I personally like the sparkles, but sparkles aren't that for everybody, right? And not all sparkles are the same. Let's put it that way. I mean, uh, you know, I say I like sparkle, but hmm, not all sparkles are the same. So you can see why I wanted to do this, right? I mean, come on. I, I liked it. Obviously, here's my beginning of my shawl. And then you've got the blanket. And that's an adaptation. Oh, the pattern. You've got this nice shawl. And they also have the directions if you wanted to do it into just a, a rectangle. I wanted to start this one because I'm difficult that way and go from instead of doing a straight rectangle, which would have been faster and easier because it was already written out and then, you know, all the stitch count would have been fine. I wanted to do this one in the round, you know, starting at making it a rectangle. So I had some more issues with that, but that was on me, not the pattern. But you have options. Oh, another thing. Do you know how to read the symbols for crochet? You know, the, the empty circle is a chain, the blackened in circle is a slip stitch, the T with a hash mark in it is a double crochet. You know, do you know how to read those? Because this pattern has them written out row by row, has the written directions, and then shows the symbols. So if you don't know how and you want to, I highly recommend looking at this one and reading through it. Even if you don't want to make the shawl, read through it and visualize and see what that symbol is and see the written pattern. Symbol, pattern, symbol, pattern, and they're right there. You can do it. Add this extra skill to your crocheting arsenal. Man, I'm telling you, it, it will open up things for you that you just, you don't even believe. It really, really will. I highly recommend. So I will have that link down below. I forget who the author is, the pattern. I, I looked, but then I completely forgot as soon as I turned on the camera. That's how that works. Okay, so I got that. And then, oh, I was working on my mitts. Remember this book? Yeah. Yep, I had this one to make, you know, a sweater for my husband. I originally, it was going to be that vest. And then I ended up making the Papa sweater out of my Viking knits. Oh, so much, so much nicer. But I have used this book a couple times and I have made the mitts. Okay. Little tiny picture hook right there. Right. So I've done that and I found doing it with the worsted weight yarn with the exact needle sizes that they said it, um, they were really large, but that's okay. My, my son, I've got a son who's about six foot five, you know, so he's, He's a big, big boy and uh, they fit him really well. So when I made the mitts like that for my husband out of that gorgeous alpaca yarn I got earlier in the year, I used the exact same pattern and the exact same stitch count, but I went down on needle sizes and everything. So then they would fit his hands better. And then I started another pair and this is fingering weight on threes. I know, crazy, right? And I have, look, I have the first one done. This is the Queensland Perth. Well, okay, that's not done. I don't have a thumb. It's not done. It's close. This is the Queensland Perth yarn. This is a fingering weight wool yarn. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so nice. I didn't put in the fingers because if you like to go like that, if you have fingers on it, you can't really go like that to just warm up the tips of your fingers. So I left it this way. Um, advantages. It's a lot faster and easier to do. Um, disadvantages I don't know you know it just depends what you like so I need to put the thumb on it right now well not right this minute and I started the second one so you'll notice I started this one and I was used going from the middle of the ball and you can see the color that's coming next obviously it's right after this so the purple I didn't want it to be so much so where it looks like fraternal you know and like hey it has all the same colors definitely different order so I came from the outside of the ball has a blue. You can see how it started. They're not going to match. They will not match, but I think it'll be closer. See, the cuffs are going to be closer, right? So you can see that color in there. And obviously this is going into this solid blue, which this didn't have any of at all. And then hopefully it'll get into this pink, this purpley color up here, and that'll kind of tie it in together. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and add the thumbs. And, uh, you know, they just might not match depending on where it like I, I've got some purple right here in the center. I don't know where this one's going to be at to, to know if the thumb will actually match when I finish, but it'll be fine. 
it will be fine. So I got that. How exciting. It's moving right along. I'm getting some stuff done. And then I got to work on my car project. I did. My hubby and I were going places and everything this week. So I got a chance to really get a lot done on my car project, which is, it's a stretchy top. I mean, okay, it doesn't look like it's that big. It stretches. This is the Bamboo Pop sock yarn and it stretches really well. And what I'm going to do is once it's done and everything, I'll see on the, the little one how that neckline fits and I can tighten that up. I can go ahead and pick up stitches and knit it, but I probably won't. I'm going to crochet that. And uh, that'll tighten that up to whatever degree I need to. And of course, sleeves. Uh, sleeves. But I'll show you what I got done this week. So this doesn't have a pattern because, you know, not everything does. Some things you just do with them. But I'm adding lace. See that? Come on, camera. Come on. But see that? You've got the holes and everything right here. So you got some lace and got some, look at that. Look how pretty that is. There we go. There we go. Now we can see it a little better. But I added from all that lace where that lace started. And then once I finished this lace part right here, I did a lot of increases. So this is going to be a little ruffle right there. That. So I got that much done on, I don't know. I think they're size fives. I don't remember. But I've got needle gauges. I can I can check it. Not a big deal. And then um, I'm right there where I think I'm going to do uh, a seed stitch border. So probably about four or five rounds, probably five of seed stitch and then bind off. And then the length and everything is done. And I'll be able to see how much it flares at that point. I was going to get my try on needles just to see, but I didn't. Um, and then it sleeves and that's it. And I have something else done. So then I'm going to have to come up with another car pattern, you know, and my car patterns are projects, not patterns. My car projects typically are something where I don't really have to look at. It's just knit, just, just keep on knitting or crocheting or whatever it is, but not, not labor intensive on, oh, wait, I'm dropping a stitch or I've got heavy lace or something. Yes, I put lace on here. But in my mind, it works. It's very mathematical. I counted my stitches and I had um, 110 stitches around. That's what I had. And then uh, it was every 10th stitch, I did a yarn over, right? And that's that first yarn over right there. You know, so I mean, that makes it a little bit easier, right? You know, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now we can see that. So every 10th stitch, I did a yarn over. And then when I came around the next um, round, um, then I did an even round. And then the next round, I... Um, did some decreases, you know, pairing your decreases and, and made that nice shape, right? So, oh, that's something too. Every other row, can you see that? How the holes are there? That's us uh, doing my yarn overs every other row. And you see how spaced that is, right? And then you can see the yarn overs and the holes in the bottom portion right here. That was every row, paired increases and decreases. But you can see the difference in everything and how that looks. So having lots and lots of fun with that, I'm almost done with the bottom and then it is the sleeves. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Have you noticed a trend? I mean, all the adults, what, did you think that just because it's a kid thing, I'm gonna get to the sleeves faster? I'm, I'm just, hey, I'm just saying. So I'm there. And the reason I'm saying that is, you wanna see my last car project? This one. I even did the neckline. Look at that. I even finished that neckline and did an I-cord bind off on that. And I put bobbles in there because I like my bobbles. Look at that. Put some bobbles in there and a feather and fan type of a pattern for lace and let that flare out and everything. And now I have to finish it with sleeves. Yeah. Yeah. I need sleeves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a big stack of things that needs sleeves. Yeah, it needs sleeves. And you know what's really sad is uh, this doesn't have needles in it. I have lots of needles. That's not an issue. What size did I use? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe fours. Maybe. I like the fours. This is a fingering weight. I like the fours. Um it works really well you know what i might have used this yarn this i might have used these so i'll measure these and do that but um fours 
it works really well when you're doing fingering weight in child's clothing. Now, not for socks because it's too loose of a fabric, right? You know, it's you want something a little bit tighter, more hard wearing. But uh, yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then I got other stuff, right? Um, you know I got other stuff. You know I do. So I got in the mail gorgeous Saint Nick color from Arcane Fibers worsted weight yarn to make my husband another sweater. Yes. So you know, and I haven't pulled it out yet. I only pulled out the one sleeve of my three sleeve sweater, but I'm going to show you that. So you remember this. So that gorgeous cable, right? You can see that popping out there, the cable. Okay. But one thing that I did notice that just kind of drove me nuts and everything, and I thought it was me, but then when I looked at the actual pattern, the Norse pattern in my Viking knits. So let's see if I can get a good angle. Okay, see that? See, this one's an over and it goes here and that's an over and then you got the two unders. I'm like, oh no, can you see that really defined right there? That's, no, uh-uh, no. That's that's a wrong crossing. It's, 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 it's wrong. It's just, it was, it was breaking my brain. Yeah, so where did my book go? Where did my book go? Oh, right here, I'll show you. So I had to realize where that crossing was and not do that. But you can see right here on his, his does the same thing right here. So it's written that way. And one of those should be under, see that? It just, it's not, it should be like this up here. Where, well, no, that's doubled right there too. No, no, it should, they should all be crossing and interwoven like that, you know, just, mm -mm. no, so that was driving me nuts. So it's a good thing that that one didn't work. It's it's, it's fine. It's fine. So, um, I just have to pull those out and then I'm going to put those away. My beautiful Noro yarn is just going to go and it's going to be put away and it'll be just fine. It'll, it'll be fine. And I'll make something for him later on that. Um, oh yeah. So I told you I got the arcane fibers, right? Well, I got that. I had just wound this up. This is jungle waters and arcane fibers. And I was ready to start a shawl. I was looking through and I narrowed it down kind of to a stole. I don't know. Um, but I was getting ready to cast it on when all that other gorgeous yarn showed up at my doorstep. And I have more coming. I do. I have more coming. I have five more balls of fingering well, skeins. Five more hanks of fingering weight coming. So look at this. You want to you see? Where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I dropped it. Do you want to see? Do you want to see my progress? You know I have progress. You know I do. What? Like I couldn't help it. I opened up the box and, and once I turned off the camera, I wound some up and then I had to swatch it. Swatches lie. Swatches lie. They, they do. They lie. But that's all right. So I started this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. That's just ends, right? That's, that's nothing but look. See? I did. Oh yeah. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. I had to, right. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I started with the sleeves, both of them. I did. And I'm doing them two rows at a time, two rows on one, two rows on the next. And I'm bouncing back and forth to try to make sure that my gauge stays the same. Yeah. Look at those. Look, aren't those gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that cable. Look how that pops. Let's see. Look at that. And can you see here how this diamond, let's see if I can get that. There you go. You can see that, that, you know, that's, that's just your typical braid. That's how it's supposed to be. There's, they're, they're not crossed in the wrong direction. Oh my gosh, that was driving me nuts. But there you go. And you know, what's really cool. These are going to be the same, but different. And what I mean by that is I've already checked out the yarn and the yarn is redder on one side on this particular, these two balls, and it'll bleed into more of the whiter side and the lighter and everything. And I'm going to strike, maybe I might, probably not, but I might go ahead and get another ball and everything on both of them to, to, um, kind of meld that a little bit more, but I am looking so forward to this because you can see they're different, right? They, they are a little bit different, but they are stunning. Oh my gosh, they are so stunning. And it's going to be so nice when I get to the body because I'll have that choice, you know, grabbing all of those other skeins because I have lots of choices on that. And 
make them just kind of stripe together just and it's just going to be such a, a gorgeous gradient of these colors and stunning and that's what he wanted my husband wants this and he's like oh my gosh he's so excited and then I did this because I shouldn't have oh wait yeah look yeah look I'm getting smarter work smarter see this see this little pink thread that's crochet thread that's my marker on each one on all of my increases and I have that on both and it's helping me to remember what row I'm on for both of them right I have that on the back side for both and it's helping me to keep track and make sure that my increases I've done increases on both of them at the same time right I mean come on if you're gonna make something you got to do it right and then I've, I've tried it on my husband, you know, and I've got them on the double points and pretty soon I'm going to put them back on circulars, but they are both on double points at the moment. And let me see. Turn it on. Look at this. Oh, here, there we go. Look at that. Look. Oh my gosh. Isn't that stunning? And I said to him, like, I want it. I, I, I want them. I, I, look at the gauntlets. They're just perfect. And he likes that close fit and everything as far as that goes. I am... And they are on the, um, there are more stitches right here on this side. So it's not so skin tight, but I do have it on three double points, right? So it's only so big that it can get, but that is gorgeous. The cables do show and they do pop. They're going to show more on like a kettle dyed or something muted, but they show enough for me and they show enough for him. So we're both really happy with it. This feels amazing. Look at this this whole thing. You're going to have a whole sweater like this. And that, oh, the charcoal. Did I talk about this? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the way the colors are on both of these. Just, I mean, that is just a beautiful, beautiful kettle dye. I have two of these coming in fingering weight yarn because I got something going on with my fingering weight yarn. I do. And I needed these. I did. So I'm really seeing this. I, I was already excited because hello, new yarn. But seeing this, I'm even more so excited. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's going to be amazing. So that is what I am working on. Oh, and then I also bought, I had to, I did. I bought a new ball, ball winder. It'll be here in about a week whatever. I don't know if I got a good one. I don't know. It's the same kind that I got right now, uh, which is really cheap and expensive. It just works until it doesn't. The, they don't look like there's anything on them that could break and to be, but I don't understand them. I've had multiple different ball winers, whatever. I don't want to invest in the big, huge ones or the really expensive ones because I'd rather buy yarn. So my ball winer, my balls are, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they're a lot to be desired. The yarn's fine. But, uh, yeah. And then I, if I try to reball them, which I did, I try to reball this one. Mm -mm, my ball winder, winder is like, it gets so far and then it just kind of throws up on itself. Yeah. So it's time to get a new one. So that's exciting. I got some new stuff coming. Yeah. I mean, might not be exciting to you, but to me, I mean, it'll help me a little bit with winding my stuff and getting it ready and everything else. Right. So not bad two projects done this week. Two, right? Yeah, I got two projects done. Okay, two finished projects. How many started projects? Well, I started this and I started this. There you go. That's a good balance, right? I finished two that were like languishing and, and stuff. Well, the blanket wasn't really languishing, but I still finished it, right? And I didn't start it this week. So there you go. Two finished, two started. Not bad. I'm getting there. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens next week and how much I can accomplish and what have you. I mean, I did have this last week a lot of time off and it's been wonderful. It really has been absolutely wonderful spending this extra time with my husband and everything and then sitting next to him working on his sweater. You think I'm a big kid? Oh my gosh, you should see him. When he saw that, the look on his face and everything, he's like, yes, because he knows that I'm extremely excited and I will get this done quickly. Okay, that's relative, but you know what I'm getting at, right? Yeah, just, it's not going to languish for a couple of years. I will get this done in a timely manner hopefully while it's still cold out and he has the opportunity to wear it this year so that'll be that'll be amazing well i'm gonna go ahead and let everybody go and enjoy the fact that my room is cleaner and i can do some things and move around and i saw some yarns that i didn't realize i had so i'm gonna go play with some things and i will talk to you guys later you guys have a great day night evening whatever
whatever it happens to be. Bye-bye.